What's up everyone? So we have entered, this is the beginning of week 14 uh, with me having the chickens. So it's around 16 weeks that they're going to start laying. So I've got one last thing I got to get done on the coop before that happens. I have this whole time had the nesting boxes uh, boarded up on the front to make sure that the girls aren't going in there and making a mess. So I'm going to be taking those boards off and I've got some like PVC sheeting that I'm going to cut down to use as a liner inside of there to make sure they don't muss the floor up in there. And then I'm going to be putting in some straw bedding and then they'll have access to it. So this has been closed since they moved in. I'll walk around to the other side here and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here's the view from the other side, from the door. So you can see over here, just above the white, that's the board that I put in to keep them out of the nesting boxes. So I'm gonna go open that up on the other side. I'm gonna knock it into here. While I've got this all opened up and I'm in there, I'm gonna turn all the bedding over. I'll bring out a pitchfork, kind of mix all the bedding around. And yeah, like I said, gonna install that PVC liner, put down a little straw mulch and then they'll have access to it. So over the next week or so, they can start to go in there, get comfortable, and then here soon, once they start laying eggs, that's where they'll be doing it at. Now I'm gonna set the camera down for a minute because I bet you anything there's wasp nests growing inside of this thing. Called it. Sorry guys, you gotta die. And the last thing I wanna do is spray poison up in here, so. Sorry guys. Well, the cover popped right off. Um, now I'm in here. Now that I'm in here, I'm actually kind of surprised. The smell's not too bad. Uh, it's hot as I'll get out, but you know, for being in here for I think about 10 weeks now, I'm really kind of surprised there's not more smell to it. But I did use the deep bedding. You know, the, the bedding here is about 10 inches deep, and they say that that's supposed to be the big benefit of it, is it's really supposed to keep the smell down, keep the moisture down, and you don't have to replace it as often. So I would definitely recommend that at this point, about 10, 12 weeks in, no problem so far. Now that I got it all opened up, this is that PVC sheeting I was talking about. You would normally use this kind of thing for like um, the walls in like a shower or something. So it should be, you know, pretty much completely impermeable. So I'm gonna cut it down into little 12 inch squares. We'll slip them inside the nesting box and put some straw down and it's gonna be about all there was to it. So I had to get a little creative with the saw here. I went to go cut this first piece and when I went to slide it down the rail, it slid right up underneath the guard. So what I had to do is I found this board here and so I added the width of the board onto my measurement, onto my 12 inches. So I slid the rail out a little, the guard out a little bit and then I'm gonna clamp this here in place and I'm gonna be able to use this board once it's clamped, I don't think that the sheeting will slide underneath it. You all know how it goes when you think you got the plan. It never quite works out that way. Gotta adapt. Okay, now that I got them all cut, we'll see you guys back out at the coop. And we're back here at the coop. So this worked out sort of just like I hoped it would. So the idea is, is these are just gonna sit in here. They're not gonna be attached or anything. So I'm more worried about, I mean, poop is gonna happen. The birds are gonna poop. That's pretty much unavoidable. My concern is, is if an egg happens to break inside of here, everybody knows how hard it is to clean up a dried egg yolk, dried eggs off of something. So the thought is, is that if an egg happens to break, I can just pull out the straw, pull out this. I've got an extra, two extra, I think. Yeah, two extras. And I can just swap it out and then go and clean the dirty one and just keep the, keep the assembly line rolling. So just gonna load these up with some straw. The girls are situated how they want it. 
close it up and we'll go from there. Check on it in a couple of hours and see if I can find, sneak up on them and see if anybody's in them. One last look from the inside here. See all the straws in them, so you know, like I said, the girls will get in there and they'll get it all moved around. They'll make little nests in there, and sometime in the next couple of weeks, I'll be checking it every day. And sometime in the in the next couple of weeks, I'll open it up, and there'll be a, a little nugget in there for me. Well, it's been a little over a week since I opened up the nesting box. I've been coming out every day, checking for eggs, uh, bringing the camera out with me, trying to get a little footage of somebody hanging out in the nesting box, but I haven't had any luck so far. While I haven't seen them in there, there are some signs you can tell, you know, it's kind of trampled down a little bit. There's some feathers in a couple of them. So they are coming in them, even if it's just been out of curiosity. I've also been making sure to keep checking up underneath the coop. That's the big hangout area for them. You can see where they kind of have made little, I don't know, they scratch at the dirt and they make little almost like nests in the dirt and in the mulch, the wood chip mulch that we put in there. Um, I think most of that's just because it kind of, the closer they can get to the ground, the cooler it is. It's been so stinking hot here lately. Uh, today it was almost 100 degrees and over 60% humidity, so it's, it's pretty miserable out here. I don't know if you can kind of see over there on the other side, they got those little, almost like little wallows that they make and hang out in. So I'll just have to keep coming out, checking in the nesting boxes, make sure I'm checking out here in the run, checking up underneath the coop, checking inside the coop, making sure that, you know, they haven't laid an egg somewhere else. The last thing I want them to do is figure out, you know, accidentally break one of them open and figure out that it's food, and then I'll have a problem with them knowing that their eggs are food, and then they'll be trying to eat them instead of me. So I'll be keeping my eyes peeled, and when the first one shows up, you guys will be the first to know. But in the meantime, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already yet. Hit that bell icon if you want to get notifications about any of the new videos I got coming out here at Shinyata Farm. Until next time, see ya.